doesn't want to just hit the snooze button, man? Who doesn't want to just sleep in? What makes you different, though? What makes me want to count on you? What makes me want to look up to you? What makes you this great grand person that you claim yourself to be because I'm not buying it if you're just going through life like this walking cadaver. I'm here to shake you up. I'm here to tilt your world upside down. Who doesn't find it tastier to eat pancakes or waffles as opposed to cooking eggs? But what's your value system? Because you cannot fully enjoy that pancake always having something eat at you like, oh, I know I should be doing something else right now. If your priorities aren't where they're supposed to be, you're going to feel depressed. See, there's always a missing link to most people's lives that contributes to depression. It's called personal growth, becoming a better you and by effect, making others better. See, it doesn't matter how well you did in school last year, or how much money you made last year, or how much weight you lost last year. If you are stagnant, meaning you do the exact same thing this year, or if you actually worsen, you will feel depressed. What happens to a stagnant pond? It develops nasty bacteria and the habitat becomes contaminated, right? As opposed to a flowing river or ocean, which is vibrant, full of healthy life because at the very premise of happiness is progress. Streaming forward, striving forward, knowing what you're capable of and achieving it, adopting new skills, going new places, learning more about life, the world, the way it works, other people, yourself. Do you even know yourself, who you are, what you're made of? Have you really explored that? At the very premise of understanding who you are and what you can get through is getting in touch with your body. Because people like to think that the mind and body are so different, right? But they're so interconnected. Your head is like one-tenth to one-twentieth the size of your body. Your heart beats without you having to think about it. Wounds heal without you having to think about it. When you feel anxiety, where do you feel it? In your chest, right? In your stomach. You feel it in your body. When you're that cadaver, when you feel down, you slouch and your head looks down. Your breaths are shallow. But when you feel certain about something, not hopeful, but you walk with this absolute certainty and in control, your head looks up. Your shoulders are back. Your chest is up. You have more energy. How you feel is in your physiology. So how do you think you're going to attract more people in your life? Attract more business? Impact others better? Greatness is not something you're born with. Greatness is habitual, routine. And a huge part of that progress is contribution, giving back, being a mentor to someone, seeing them develop. There's a saying, the teacher learns more than the student. So not only do you bring someone else up when you give back, but you get this amazing reward from it. But no one is going to listen to you unless you've walked the walk, unless you left your mark first. This concept that we preach, it's not just fitness. It's a lifestyle. It's the person you become. And who you become emanates off as a certain type of spirit that you walk with every day that people gravitate towards like a magnetic pull. It's a representation of who you are and what you can offer based on your mentality, how you see the world, what you can get through. Because leading by example is the best tribute you can ever pay to society. Your every action influences those who are watching. As a friend, your friends follow your lead. As a boss, your employees follow yours. As a parent, your children follow yours. How are you going to represent that model in your every action? We look up to people who shake the world, who provoke change. Those around you will follow suit, but it starts with you. It's all on you. Now all you need is a little push.